Today we'll be learning about slope of lines and our objectives is that we will be able to use slope to determine if two lines are parallel, perpendicular, or neither. And we will be able to graph lines parallel or perpendicular to a given line. Slope, our formula, we use slope is represented by the letter M and it is y1 minus y2 over x1 minus x2. So if we want to find the slope of the line containing these points, this would be x1 and y1, x2 and y2. So let's plug those in. y1, negative 3, minus y2 over x1 minus x2. Negative 3 minus 2 would be negative 5. 1 minus negative 4, which is the same as 1 plus 4, would be 5. And when we simplify, we get that our slope is equal to negative 1. So let's use this formula to help us compare lines. Parallel lines have the same slope and perpendicular lines have opposite reciprocal slopes. And this means that the fractions are flipped and we switch signs. So for our examples, find the slope of each line and then tell if the lines are parallel, perpendicular, or neither. So for line 1, m would be equal to y1 minus y2, so 0 minus 4, over 1 minus 7. And that gives us a slope of negative 4 over negative 6, which simplifies to two-thirds. Our second line, y1 minus y2, over x1 minus x2. 0 minus 6 is negative 6, 4 minus 3 is 4, so this simplifies to negative 3 over 2. So since the fractions are flipped and one's positive and one's negative, that tells us that these lines are perpendicular. When we're given the picture of the lines, we can count the slope on the graph. So I'm going to find two nice coordinate points on line C. And slope is rise over run. So M would equal, we go up 3 and left 2, so it would be negative 3 halves. On line D, we go up 2 and left 1. So that would be negative 2 over 1 or negative 2. These aren't flipped fractions. They're not the same. So these are neither parallel nor perpendicular. What if we're given the equations of the lines? The easiest way to look at the slope when you're given the equation is to write them in y equals form first. So to get y by itself here, I'm going to subtract 3x on both sides. So I'll have negative 2y 
equals negative 3x plus 3. Divide everything by negative 2. So I would get y equals 3 halves x minus 3 halves. For our other line, again, we're going to subtract 3x. Negative 2y equals negative 3x minus 8. Divide everything by negative 2. y equals 3 halves x plus 4. And we're looking at the number in front of the x because that's where our m is and y equals mx plus b. Since they're the same, we know the lines are parallel. In this one, we're given y equals a constant and x equals a constant. I'm going to show you what these look like graphically. So y equals 3. If you remember from Algebra 1, y equals 3 is a horizontal line that crosses the y-axis at 3. x equals 2 is a vertical line that crosses the x-axis at 2. And we can see that those are going complete opposite directions, so therefore these are perpendicular. For our last two examples, we are going to create a new line given the line that we already have. So graph a line parallel to the given line uh, through the point that we're given. So first we need to find the slope. The slope of this one, if we do rise over run, is 1 over negative 2. Since it's parallel, we're going to use the same slope from this point. So we're going to go down 1 over 2, down 1 over 2, or up and left, up and left, up and left. And then we can connect all our dots. In number seven, we want to graph a line perpendicular to the given line. So again, we're going to find our slope. So up three over one. The perpendicular slope, we flip our fraction over. And since this one was positive, the perpendicular has to be negative. So from the given point, we're going to go down one over three. Down 1 over 3, down 1 over 3. We can also go up and left, and then again connect our dots. That's all for today. Fill in your summary.